thank you all for, for being here. Uh, we'd like to thank you for joining in in this celebration with us. And also thank you for honoring someone whom we all consider to be truly a pillar of Wenatchee High School and a pillar of our community, once again, Mr. Dan Jackson. It is truly an extraordinary tribute to see so many of you sitting out in the audience tonight. And we all come together to show a fraction of our appreciation for a very lengthy and unusually successful career in the service of young people. I believe that educators like Mr. Jackson are the ones who plant the seeds that enable students to maximize their high school experience and what comes beyond high school. I'm sure we would all agree that Mr. Jackson has not only been teaching music all these years, but teaching something much more important, and that is life. And as we look out here, I think many of you are a true testimony to that. First off, as we start, I'd like to just ask any former or current students who have had Mr. Jackson to please stand. Wow. Okay. little part so that everyone can see. I'm just going to ask you to raise your, your hand. How many of you have had Mr. Jackson since the year 2000? Raise your hand. Okay. How many of you had had Mr. Jackson in the 1990s? How many of you had Mr. Jackson in the 1980s? And how many of you had Mr. Jackson in the 70s. <laughs> All right, got quite a few former students out there. Well, Mr. Jackson is a music teacher. I actually thought it might be appropriate to do a little bit of math here tonight. You know, for my students, that's a scary thing. I can't even number my tests. But um, anyway, I think by doing this math, we'll actually be able to fully understand Mr. Jackson's commitment to education. And a couple of days ago, I was able to track him down in the music room, which is not an easy thing to do. I think we all know Mr. Jackson is a man of action, and uh, he's coming and going all the time. But he did give me a few minutes to sit down and just told me a little bit about uh, his career. This whole adventure began all the way back in 1972. And 1972 was quite a monumental year for Mr. Jackson because it was not only the year that he began his, te his teaching career, but it was also the year that he married his beautiful wife, Sally. in the classroom, 
And to his credit, times 50 students, but it gets worse. Since 1979 in this school, in a room with no window. Students. That's a lot of students. 